so not everything ran through as we expected. Um, for example, uh, the compilation of tar uh, just kept running and running and running. And at some point I just had to interrupt it um, by pressing control C. And uh, so I already knew that there had been problems and I've gone through the log files in the meantime. Uh, of course, not all of them. You know, uh, if you look at uh, the GCC log file, for example, look at that down here. It's uh, almost uh, 500,000 lines of log file. Uh, you just cannot read so many lines of log file. So uh, what I usually do is I just uh, go to the end of the log file and uh, see if something looks wrong there. So if uh, the whole process uh, ended gracefully or not. And um, yeah, when I went through these log files, a few of them stood out to me. Um, well, particularly, of course, uh, tar, because, um, well, tar is the one that uh, just kept running and running and running and uh, that I explicitly cancelled. So, um, listing sparse files bigger than 2 to the 33 bytes. 2 to the 33 is, I think, 8 gigabytes. And um, yeah, when I checked the USB stick, uh, the build directory of the tar tool was actually 10 gigabytes large and the USB stick was almost full. So uh, I don't know how you can come up with the idea to generate 10 gigabytes of example file for an auto test, but uh, okay, I think uh, that leaves us no choice but to um, but to just disable the auto test. So that's this make check here. So we'll just have to skip that and uh, hope for the best. Um, but there were a few other programs that stood out to me. Um, so the uh, Deja GNU down here ended with error two but it's also in the auto tests. You know, here we have uh, libdejagnu tests, relatively short log file, but um, yeah, I will just do the same thing, just di disable the auto test, and then we will see if that helps. Okay, gnu org. also ended with an error. Um, that was another test that just kept running and running. And well, it asks for a pseudo terminal. Um, yeah, this just sounds like it might have really problems when you are running this from a script or I don't know. But uh, yeah, again, I will just disable the auto tests for GNU org. Let's just make check here again. Um, and then there was uh, text info. So that starts some make uh, process and um, does a few auto tests and um, I think I interrupted that also, if I remember correctly. So yeah, another thing that I will just disable the auto tests. And then, um, yeah, there's one thing that uh, um, might not have stood out to me. Um, so if you are looking at these log files here, um, you might not realize it, uh, but um, look down here. It says 66 files. 
and um, we were going to build um, let's see so chapter 8 has two um, chapters that are not related to uh, these scripts and then I wanted to uh, build everything including Vim. That would be number 69 minus the two that uh, were not related to the tools would be 67. So I wanted to build 67 packages but it says here I only have 66 log files. So I went through all the names and um, <laughs> yeah I've seen that uh, the package IP root is missing. So what's going on there? Um, so we don't have the, um, the log file for IP root. So let's see if we are even trying to build it. So here's IP root. Uh, there are commands in there. So if that script is run, we should get some log file. Okay, I don't have the command anymore, but uh, uh, because I've rebooted in the meantime, but uh, I had told it to build the package, but it didn't. So that basically means it must be a problem in the uh, packages CSV. So here we have IP root two. So it the package is named IP root two in here. But the script is only called IP root without the two. So um, to fix that, I'll go here and rename this IP root two. Okay, and now I should be able to um, to rerun these things. And um, okay, of course, it's it might not be the best idea to uh, to just retry packages from somewhere in between the process because uh, well, if you build if you try to build uh, something first and that fails, and then you build something else, uh, maybe the configure script is looking for the thing that you tried to build first and if it's not there maybe it just does something stupid and maybe um, configures itself wrongly but um, I think we should at least try I don't want to start completely over at this point so I want to just try and uh, run it like this so let's see where were we So the directory is mounted. These directories exist. The files are copied in the in the change root bash script also. So I think We should be fine going into the change route again. So we want to rebuild text info tar IP root two. GNU org. 
and Deja Gnu. Okay, let's run this. Okay, that was quick. I'm not sure if that's a good sign or a bad sign. just seen that I've renamed the wrong script. So this one is the one in my home directory. And uh, this one is the one in the, uh, in the sources directory on the stick. But uh, the old one that I had renamed um, wasn't removed so it was still there with the name ip root 2 so i think that should still have worked okay it doesn't look bad either so i think this should be okay like this um, now So we have now compiled everything, including Vim. Um, and I will stop at this point because I want to make a backup, basically save the game at this point, because uh, the next packages here, um, they are for the system V init system. And I just want to branch the video series where in one branch we use system v in it and in the other branch we will be using system d um, because there are two versions of the linux from scratch book and the other one uh, has system d as in its system and uh, as far as i've looked into them uh, the two books are identical uh, up until this point including them so uh, yeah, chapter 70 in the other book uh, goes in a different direction. So that's why I want to uh, make a backup here, make one uh, init system, and when that's done, make videos with the other init system. So definitely a very interesting point in the whole Linux from scratch building process. Um, I've also looked into the chapters down here already. Uh, there's also a lot of interesting stuff there so the next videos will definitely be very interesting so absolutely tune in next time and uh, yeah if you liked this video like it share it subscribe and see you next time bye